turn it a night. Chill with Fat Boy Radio. <clears throat> Talking mad smack, try to bang the next guest. I see you guys, <laughs> so I'm chilling with them. So what's going on with today? What's going no, on with today? Just chilling, man. Yeah, I see you. We're okay. celebrating the birth, the birth of Remy Banks. Uh huh. Yeah. Baby was born uh, tomorrow. Well, birthday is tomorrow, but tonight we, we celebrate Dude's Night Out. Yeah, I got you. Like, you, know, you guys like roll around like a gang. Yeah, yeah freak man. mayhem in the streets, man. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about how Children of the Night became Children of the Night. Um, I, was I met uh, Lance, and we were just like, yo, we both spit. Everybody else in this cool is cool, it's corny, so, you know, we just started spitting or whatever. <laughs> uh, we met a couple dudes along the way, you know, some came, some went. Yeah. So Lansky was the last person to add to the group, right? No, no, no. Was no. Remy, was the, was the last. I, I was the last person. I was the first person to add to the group. Me and then first. it was the second. I remember it was like the last. Who was the second? No, yeah. wait, the second was what? Prof. Well, Prof. It, was, it was it was Lance and myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was uh, Prof. Prophet loyal. and then Loyal. So what happened to all these guys? They kind of, well, Prophet Cody's was doing, doing his solo thing, thing, and Loyal was like, he's not sure if he wants to pursue rap. Yeah. So he's putting more focus on his radio show because he does a radio show at the room. So, oh, really? so, what so, genre do you classify yourself as? Good music. Grunge, grunge good metal music. slash hip hop slash um, experimental, Afro, Afro funk. jazz, electro, yeah. salsa. Salsa? Woogie yeah. Boogie. And ghetto tech. And ghetto tech. And ghetto tech. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. grime, grime too. And booty sometimes. tech. Booty well, tech? Drunk just is the grime music. Okay, I got you. <laughs> so you have a, a mixtape out right now. It's yeah. called 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So what's up with that? Like, what was, how'd you get the name for that? It's the Fabric of Balaz, baby. That's it. Fabric of Oz? Yeah. Does it have any meaning? It's, uh, well, 100%, like 100% cotton, 100% raw, raw music, yeah. 100% effort. Yeah. You know, it's like our, it's our premier, it's our, our premier venture into the, into the music business. So was that your first mixtape? Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. Really? We had, we had more <clears throat> tracks, like, before that, but we just didn't feel like they were good enough, or they, we, we, our styles developed so rapidly that we, we just needed to get this down. You know, like you know, we're kind of like perfectionists also. So yeah. we just take the best of the best, like the we feel is the best. You know? Yeah, I got you. So let's. Uh, so what was the whole process of doing the whole hundred percent album? Um. Well, we we felt like um we've been we've been performing, you know, at that time we were performing a lot. You know, we really didn't have anything to give out to the to the people, and uh, you know we. We basically created all these tracks to perform and not really for anything else. So mm-hmm. we were like, yo, let's make a mixtape out of this. So, yeah. you know, we kept on just recording and recording and recording. And, uh, you know, we ended up like, what, all of last summer doing this? Yeah, oh, like most, 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 yeah we most, did most all of all of yeah. Summer July, most of all <laughs> Yeah, we did most of the, uh, the CD things during the summer. Yeah, uh, during like, I guess... Uh, September, September like, last, yeah. like, two but tracks. before that, like earlier in the year, like we kind of like going through different things with like a management company at one point and like uh, people leaving the group, like I, like a couple of the joints, like uh, Real Smooth mm-hmm. was actually done the like that. Was, yeah, that's, that's the oldest. I that was when I, like I, I didn't even know Remy like that, and we, we had like a weird. Like we, we didn't really know each other like that, so it was kind of awkward a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's why like like a lot of people say they like that song because we, we brought it, like I guess that awkwardness made us come out with the best work. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, I got you. You know? But that's how I felt about it. But the, yeah, that was during the process when people were still in the group. There were like six members in the group at that time. God damn. Yeah, so, so you just turned it down the three? Yeah. So what's like your routine for making music? You know, basically when we all don't work, which is, you know, mostly at night, you know, mm-hmm. we just end up, you know, going to Lansky's crib, which is a studio, mm-hmm. and, you know, we just bang out what we could. So, yeah. You don't really sound like anybody in the game right now, so who are your influences? Yeah, it ranges from like the tribe, guys, <laughs> the Mob Deep, Mob Deep, Pharaoh, uh, Slum Village. Pharaoh Mark. Slum Village. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got the most. old Slum Village. I don't the name for Can I say the same? G Unit? G Unit, yeah. Oh, God. You don't have to slip you know it in. You don't have to slip it in. You don't have to slip it in. You don't have to slip When they were still together. When they were, when, no, when they were popping. You know, Where are you guys performing? Like, I know that you performed at the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I heard you got it jumping. Yeah. Uh, I guess, I guess the tone, say, we, we set, set the, the tone, tone for the show, yeah. but then we were getting, like, reviews from people like, oh, you know, you guys really did a good job setting off the show, mm-hmm. and everybody after you guys were mediocre mm-hmm. compared to you guys until the main act. Mm-hmm. And I was taking that as, like, wow. Like, you have, like, a, a weird stage presence, like, 
when we were talking at Delisa, as you were talking about it, you come up real humble. And you're not shouting like any yeah, of these other yeah. rappers. Explain that. It, we just do it like yeah, ourselves. Yeah, like, like man. ourselves. Like, we like, we're rappers. There, like, I don't want to, we don't want to be obnoxious. We don't want to be those dudes. Like, we mm-hmm. want to be like, yeah. you know, one yeah, of that cocky stuff else. is like not us. Mm-hmm. So you think that would change once you get signed? No, not we, at all. We just want to let the music speak so, cause we already th- That's already part of our image. Like, we're just mm-hmm. mad cool dudes, you know. So what labels are you really trying to get signed to that you think would complement your image? Uh, Honestly, I, um, I mean, because this changes every day. I really think, I think uh, any label. Any label? Put us in any label. Well, All right. Drake doesn't any, have any, any label Drake? that doesn't yeah. want to have influence. That Any label that yeah, can exactly. let us be. I'll, like, yo, yeah, I would be cool with, like, doing, like, one like an indie and like an indie album at the same time as I do a main like a, a mainstream album. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to get do a one album deal with Stone Throw like for us to do that. 